I've always wanted to report on Bigfoot, but never had the opportunity in the nearly 20 years I've been reporting. That is, until now. We found a local man who claims he saw Bigfoot. Here's his story. Okay. Where are you going to show us where you found Bigfoot? I'm going to show you where I found him. It was last October when Greg Moore, a 24-year-old life insurance agent, says with his own eyes he saw Bigfoot cross Highway 88 in Amador County while on his way to the Jackson Casino. Uh, my friend's car's headlights lit up its eyes, and that's when I knew that's not a human being. But then all of a sudden, it just walked around the car, you know, and it looked like this, I'd say maybe seven, eight feet tall man. But when I looked closer, I realized it wasn't clothes, it was hair. Were That's you uh, at that point? Oh, my heart was racing because I didn't know what it was, but I thought that it was going to come to our car. And just around the bend. This is it. Right through here. Right here. Yeah, this is it. This is it right here. We were coming through at night, and uh, right from right over here, coming right over into this way. And I know how it walked. It walked like this, kind of turned around like this to look eyes focused around the car and then when it was coming around this way is when the the you could see the eyes flash like an animal and it was coming through there and uh, that was when my heart started racing and I got really scared. Greg Moore has every reason to be scared if the creature exists but why would Bigfoot come here? Those at the local coffee shop seem to know tales of Bigfoot have existed in the town of Clements for decades. I have heard the stories. Um, they, they're, they've been around. And they were happy to share more. That's got a lot of There's tales of ghosts yeah. and, and ghost towns. And, yeah. Greg's Bigfoot sighting is the only documented one in Amador County. Tom Yamaroni has investigated more than 50 Bigfoot sightings since 2003, including Greg Moore's sighting. Both sides of the roads are, are private parcels, so it did seem to me to be a likely location for the event to have occurred. You do see deer or some game animals seem to be using this area in here. And could this be a spot Bigfoot left behind? Tom says no, water, not Bigfoot, left this impression. You see how there's a gully, Howard? See how it, it runs out of that and then down there and the water? We just had a heavy rain year here. For Greg, simply seeing is believing. My cousin was going to come out here and he was going to put a big old sign up saying Bigfoot spotted here. <laughs> now tomorrow night we go out with a team of Bigfoot enthusiasts who put out the call to Bigfoot. Find out firsthand what we found. I told you about a local man who says he has seen Bigfoot. Well, this evening, Rowena Shaddix introduces us to local enthusiasts who have really made it their mission to track down that beast. The woman you're about to meet is an anthropologist by day. Her husband, a retired firefighter. It's their passion for finding Bigfoot that brought them together. Now, we went out with them one night. See for yourself what we found. <laughs> This whole area has had multiple sightings over the years. Deep in the forest, bordered by Twain Hart, Sonora, and Ion Jackson, Kathy and Bob Strain put out the call. <laughs> Recorded calls they believe are from Bigfoot. The goal is to call blast into it and let it hit the other side of the hill, and it'll ricochet all the way down for miles. 500 watt, uh, four channel speaker, and we've got uh, four separate um, channels going here. We're in Stanislaus National Forest. It's about 8:30 in the evening, and we're about to do our first call blast. <laughs> That gives you goosebumps. I've never heard Did that you before. Hear the echo? Yeah, it just resonates. It's That's awesome. The evening starts out quiet for someone who's never gone camping, but grew up fascinated by Bigfoot stories. It didn't take much to freak myself out. Bob says he's seen the mystic creature firsthand when he was 19 while hunting with his dad. Stood up on two legs and it walked off across the hillside, and I got a a good look at it walking on two legs. It's now about a half an hour later and we're going to send out our second call blast. <laughs> 
After a while, your eyes begin to play tricks as though you're seeing something at a distance. And what about this? Look closely at the left side of this boulder. Is it just a shadow or is something lurking behind it? It's again a half an hour later and what you're about to hear are screams from what's believed to be a young Bigfoot from Lake Tahoe. So we just put off that young Bigfoot sound and both Kathy and I heard a loud squawk come right directly right here from behind us. Ro, you look a little scared. I'm, I'm petrified right now. It was really scary. We played the young Bigfoot call again, but only silence followed. You don't get something every time you go out. You know, I would say it's probably 10% if you're lucky. I think this is about the time we ask you to weigh in. How about that? Let's bring up our viewers' voice question. What do you think about these so-called Bigfoot sightings in our area and trying to track down the creature? Your thoughts after watching the story? Give us a call or text us the number 916-5724-FOX. You can write on our Facebook wall at Fox 40 News. And I can't wait to look at your comments. We'll share them a little later yeah. in the news.